What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of NX Tutorials. In today's episode, I'll show you how to create a martini glass. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so go ahead and create a new file. You want to come up here, click new, or you can press Control N on your keyboard. Alright, once you get there, you want to specify your units. You can either choose from inches or millimeters. Today we'll be using the millimeters. You want to name your uh, file and then choose your folder destination and then click OK. Alright, the first thing is go ahead and create a sketch. You want to come up here and create a sketch. Choose your plane. I'll leave it at the X and Y plane. Click OK. Next, we'll go ahead and create a line coming down vertically. And we want it to be uh, 250 millimeters long, so type in 250 and then 270 coming down at an angle. All right, there's our first line. Next, we'll create a line up here at 100 millimeters, so type in 100, press enter. And then we want to create another line coming down. And then we'll go ahead and give it a dimension. So we want it from this point to the top. That should be 115 millimeters. So type in 150 and press enter. Alright, we'll go ahead and work on the base. Click on line. Go ahead and create a line coming out, and we want it to be uh, 75 millimeters in length. Go ahead and create a line going up at an angle, and then we want this angle to be uh, 21 degrees. So double click on the angle dimension, and then type in 21 degrees and press enter. Alright, next, we'll go ahead and uh, close this out. Create a line coming down. And then go ahead and rapid dimension it from this line. We want it to be 6 millimeters away from that line, so press 6. Next, you want to connect your endpoints. Make a point on curve. Same on the bottom. You want to select your endpoint and then come down here and make a point on curve. All right. Next, you want to use the trim tool. So click on the trim or type in T on your keyboard. You want to trim out this and trim out this line and then close out. Alright, next you want to create a radius. So you want to come up here and the fillet or the F hotkey on your keyboard. And then you want to select this line with this line. And then we, we want a radius of 10 millimeters. So type in 10, press enter. And the same thing on the bottom, we want a, uh, a fillet 10 millimeter in radius. So select those two, type in 10, and press enter. All right, next, we have to separate the top from the bottom, so that way when we shell, take out the material from the top, we don't want to shell all the way through the stem. So in this case, we have to create two lines coming across. So select this endpoint. You want to select the angle at 180. And then go ahead and connect it to the endpoint of that line. Same thing, create a line at 180, and then go ahead and connect it. All right, once you have these two lines, you want to trim out the excess. So click on the trim tool, 
we'll go ahead and trim out this line and trim out this line here. Close out. All right, so now we have our sketch. It's fully constrained using the auto dimensioning and constraining. So once you have that, go ahead and click finish. All right, next, you want to click on the revolve. And it's automatically going to select all the curves that we just created in sketch. So you should have 11 curves. And then come down here, specify your vector. You want to select this coming down. All right, so now we have our shape. Go ahead and click OK. All right. Next, before we unite these two parts, we got to shell it out and then unite it. So you, we want to shell this face. You want to come, come up here and click Shell. And if you can't find any of these features up here, if you got a different layout, you can always type it in here in the search box, type in Shell. For example, and then press enter. All right, and then it should give you a list. So the first one, shell. Once you hover over with the mouse, it should show you exactly where it's at, highlighted in red. So it's telling you it's right here. You can click on it, and it's gonna bring up the shell feature. You can go ahead and exit out from the search. All right, so it's asking you to select a face. We want to shell this face. And then the thickness is going to be 2 millimeters. So that way we're going to have 2 millimeter material all around. And go ahead and click OK. All right, once you've done that, go ahead and uh, unite these bodies. You want to select the bottom and then the top. So go back in Home, on the Home tab. And then it's here, it says replace. Click on the replace. And that's going to come up here, replace face. All right, so your, your first face should be the bottom one. You want to click on the bottom face. And then come down, come down to the replacement face. You want to replace it with the top one. And that's automatically going to unite them together. Go ahead and click OK. All right. Once we've done that, now we have to uh, unite these two bodies. So you want to come up here in the Unite. And now as you can see it's two different layers or two different bodies. So you want to select your first body and then come down select your second body. Now they should be united. Click OK. Alright. Next we'll go ahead and work on the radiuses of these edges. So come up here. Edge Blend. Alright. So we want a 1 millimeter. And then go ahead and select these two edges. So the outer edge and then the inner lip. Go ahead and click OK. Now you should have a nice radius. All right, and we can go ahead and work on the radius on the bottom as well. So create another edge blend. You want to highlight and select this edge. And this one is going to be two millimeters on the bottom to give it a nice uh, definition. Go ahead and click OK. All right. Next, we're going to work on the definition of the base of the glass. So the first thing is we'll go ahead and uh, sketch a circle. So click on sketch. We want this plane work off of this face, so select this face, click OK. All right, go ahead and click on the circle. And then we want this circle to be centered on the sketch origin. And the bottom circle should be uh, 20 millimeters, so type in 20. So there's your sketch. Go ahead and finish. All right, once we have the circle, go ahead and extrude. So click on the extrude. 
we want a 10 millimeters and then we want we actually want it inwards so double click on the arrow that should take it inside or you want to come up here in the reverse direction that should take it on the, on the other side so once you have that go ahead and click OK next you want to subtract that so uh, click on the subtract select your first body and then sub subtract it from this go ahead and click OK alright next we want to give it a nice definition so click on the edge blend alright so the radius is going to be 100 millimeters and then go ahead and select the outer edge then go ahead and click OK now you can see a nice definition on the base alright another thing is we'll go ahead and hide the edge lines so under the view tab click on the view and then you, could, you should uh, see style click on the style right now it's uh, shaded with edges so we just want it shaded that should take care of that alright next we want to hide the sketch lines that we created to make this part so uh, the same thing under view tab you want to click on the move to layers go ahead and select your body and then you want to inverse selection that way it's going to select everything else and you should have 16 objects selected click OK go ahead and choose a layer destination so uh, we'll choose 5 click OK once you have that go to layer settings and you should see the layer that you just created layer 5 if, when you uncheck it that should take care of the lines and everything else so now you should have a clear view click close out alright lastly we'll go ahead and change the color so press and hold control J select the object click OK and then under colors you want to click on the color box choose your preference click OK alright there's our part alright there it is alright guys thank you for watching make sure you like and subscribe until next time